Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 25 in our course and today's topic is BCD in PIG18 of microcontroller. So let's see what we have in this topic for us. Okay, BCD. BCD stands for binary coded decimal number and we know that decimal numbers are those which are uh, starts 0 to 9. Uh, they use these symbols 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then we uh, concate these numbers to make the larger number. For example, one will be paired with zero, so it will become one zero or simple ten, then one one, then one two and so on. So this is how decimal number generates. But what is binary coded? Binary coded decimal number means a decimal number is coded using a binary number and we use only four bits. This is most important thing that how many bits are used here? Only four bits. So zero zero will be used as zero 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 one will be used as triple zero one. For example, six will be used as zero double one zero, right? So this this is how you code a decimal number and you use only uh, four bits, right? So there is one similarity between BCD and hexadecimal. And what is the, that similarity? And hexadecimal, we also use four bits. And in BCD uh, numbers, we also use four bits. But one distinction, which is very clear, BCD is only for decimal number. That means we will go from zero through nine, right? But while this is not true for uh, hexadecimal, we have to uh, not only count zero to nine, but also include A, B, C, D, E, F. So we have 16 symbols in hexadecimal, while BCD has only 10 symbols starting from zero and goes to nine. And we also use uh, with a similar approach four bits only. In BCD, we have two types of number which are used, right? From PIC18 point of view, from microcontroller or microprocessor point of view. One is called uh, unpacked BCD, unpacked BCD. What is it? Let me write it for you. Uh, this is the example of, for example, 0, 09 hacks, right? Uh, let's say I write move literal to working, move literal to working 0, 09 hacks. That means 0, 09 would be used in, uh, would be stored in uh, working register, right? Working register would become equal to 0, 09 hacks. Is it a BCD number? Yes, it is a BCD number if you clearly see it. So you can also use hexadecimal symbols to represent the BCD in PIC 18F. So 0, 09 hacks. But in 0, 09 hacks, what is the thing to be noted that we have eight bits, right? Because zero contains zero and nine is one double zero nine one double zero one so only lower four bits are being used here this is the uh, this is what we call uh, unpacked bcd this upper format or upper four bits are not used for example if you want to store zero, three bcd we have to write what we have to write move literal to working move literal to working z zero three hacks that would means w is equal to zero three right or, or simple three bcd but remember that upper four significant bits or upper nibble is not used in this uh, example again so this is called unpacked bcd what is uh, what is opposite or second kind of bcd that is called packed bcd packed bcd so as it name suggests there will be two bcd number which will be packed inside uh, with each other right for example uh, we can say that we are interested in uh, 1, 2, BC, 12 BCD. So what you can do, you can actually write move literal to working. 1, 2 hacks. Again, we are using hexadecimal number, but it would be equal to 1, 2. And we see here, if we if we uh, convert it into binary or BCD form, it will become 0, 0, 1, and 2 would become 0, 0, 1, 0. So now we are using uh, 8 complete 8 bits, right? That means these four bits are also used. This is lower nibble and this is higher nibble. Both of the nibble are used and we have two BCD number which are combined, joined together. That is called, they are called packed, packed BCD, right? But in case of unpacked, we are using only this lower portion. We are not using this higher portion. That is why they are called unpacked BCD. So if you compare packed BCD and unpacked BCD, packed BCD is more efficient in terms of storage because they can use eight bits to store two bcd numbers while unpacked bcd stores only one bcd number in eight bits so this is why 
packed BCDs are more efficient and they are more relatively used compared to uh, unpacked BCD, right? These are the two types of BCD that we wanted to discuss uh, before we go and further uh, perform certain operations on BCD number. Okay, there is a common problem while we are going to add BCD number. Let's say we are adding two BCD number, okay? Uh, for example, we take two five hacks, right? Two five is a BCD number, another BCD number is 12 and we want to add them up. So what would be the result if we are adding them up? You know that result would become what? Uh, five plus two would become equal to seven and two plus one would become three. So three, seven. So we are adding two BCD numbers, two, five and 12. Both are BCD numbers, binary coded number. So if we gonna write a code for it, what would be, what it would be? Move literal to working, right? We are adding move, uh, we are moving a literal value, let's say two, five hacks. So it will store W, is, it will make W is equal to two, five. Then we do what? Add literal to working. Uh, and what is the number? One, two hacks. So it would become W is equal to three, uh, seven hacks, right? So there would be, there won't be any error, right? So what we are expecting, we are expecting this result, we are re uh, receiving this error. But this prob uh, problem uh, arises when uh, this lower nibble, right? Or this lower portion or this lower base number is clear. Uh, their result becomes greater than nine because we don't have any number greater than nine. But what we are performing, we are using hexadecimal number. In, in hexadecimal number, we have number zero to nine and then A, B, C, D, E, F are also included. So there will be a problem. And to elaborate that problem, let's consider another example. Let's say we want to add two five hacks with, let's say two seven hacks, right? Uh, let's do it in manually and see what would be what would will what will be its result uh, using B, uh, simple BCD. So five plus seven would become twelve, and one will carry. So one plus two plus two would become five. So result should be fifty two. Uh, in uh, according to our expectation, if we are going to add these two values in BCD, and now let's perform this addition using. Uh, hexadecimal so we will be using move literal to working move literal to working and we will be adding first number so it would become w is equal to 25 there is no issue at all then we write add literal to working and then we write what two seven hacks so we know that this is going to be hexadecimal addition seven plus five would become what 12 but for 12 we have a number c in hexadecimal so result would be c and then two plus two become four C. So this is the result that we are going to see in the working register, which is not uh, what we expect. Look, we are expecting 52 and we are receiving four C. So they are not equal. This is what we call whenever the addition of two BCD numbers becomes uh, greater than nine, like in this case, for five plus seven, it becomes 12. But in a last case, it was becoming five plus two, seven, which is less than nine. So th this issue is present, uh, like their addition is exceeding nine, then we what we have to do, we have to uh, resolve this issue, right? And how we can resolve it? Let me do it manually for it first, and then I will tell you what is the command, which I'm going to use. So two, seven, we are adding it, or let me do it in binary for you so that you understand, right? So how can you do it uh, for binary? It would become two would become zero, zero, one, one, right? Zero, zero, one, zero, and five would become one, zero, one, zero, right? And seven, uh, two would become zero, zero, one, zero, and seven would become zero, one, one, sorry, uh, one, one, right? So if I'm going to add it generally, it would become one plus one would become zero and one would be added then one plus one zero right and then uh, we will have what one over here and then one right so this is the result we are expecting here i hope you can do it yourself as well zero and that would become one and that would become one and zero so i'm just adding binary numbers i hope you can do it yourself so uh, there will be no issue at all. And that is equal to what C, right? And that is equal to four. That is that is what we are receiving here, right? So how we got, are going to solve it? So we are receiving what? We are receiving four C. We have to 
we have to solve this problem we have to convert in, it into back to 52 and how you can do it uh, you uh, solution comes from the fact that the difference between bcd and hexadecimal bcd has nine uh, nine elements or sorry 10 elements and hexadecimal has uh, 16 symbols so difference is six so we have to add six here so if we add six in four c c uh, it, it is basically c let me correct it uh, yeah it is equal to four c so c plus six c is 12 six is uh, six 12 plus six 18 and in 18 hexadecimal how you gonna write it hexadecimal 18 would be equal to one two so two would be here and one would go above so that would become 52 and that approach we can also we can also convert it uh, in binary as well for example the binary result is what the binary result is this one zero one double zero right then we write one one zero and zero one one zero zero and what we are going to add we are going to add what we are going to add uh six so the hexadecimal sim hexadecimal is the binary combination of six is what uh, one one zero and zero right so i'm going to add it it would become zero it would become one one and one it would become one zero that means zero will be here and one would go over there right one and one it would become what one zero that would become zero and one would over go there so one will be here zero would be here and zero and one so this is what this is five and this is what this is two and that is what we expect so we did we perform this conversion whenever our result exceeded greater than nine then what we have to do we have to add six this is what we do manually this is we can do manually but this problem this problem is so common that whenever any microcontroller or any microprocessor performs VCD addition using hexadecimal or binary, we come to this issue. So this problem is solved using a special instruction and that instruction is also included in PIC18 and that we're going to learn. So we know that 4C is a result and we have to convert into 52 to, uh, to perform this thing. We have a special instruction, right? The special instruction is called DAW. That is also called decimal adjustment of working register DAW. And whenever you perform, uh, whenever you perform a BCD addition, you have to use this instruction. So what will uh, you? You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to apply any argument. You don't need to write anything further. DAW is enough. It knows or microcontroller or microprocessor uh, by default it knows that okay there is certain last operation which is resulted in wrong bcd and we have to correct it so automatically this 4c okay in the result of this or in the execution of this instruction working register content would become 52 hacks which we do, wh what we did manually this instruction did it actually uh, automatically right one thing uh, about this instruction uh, or this is also a difference between pig 18 f and other microcontroller or other processors in other processors daw or direct decimal adjustment is normally used whenever we perform bcd addition uh, but daw is actually having certain algorithm and that algorithm is basically uh, we look for this uh, digital carry or the bit from the fourth bit uh, if it, if there is a carry so what it does it actually add a six to the lower nibble, which is the solution to solve this problem, right? So uh, DAW actually works only on the working register. That means it will actually correct the, only the content of working register. If your result is stored somewhere in other file, then you have to bring it, bring it first into the working register. And then only then you can actually correct it. For example, if this result was present in some other file, for example, this, this result was present let's say zero zero hex file register right and if we apply this instruction this instruction won't work this instruction won't modify this content because this daw command only works only with working register so this result should be present in the working register and then this decimal adjustment working command will work for us okay that's it from this lecture i hope you have understand the concept of uh, bcd numbers and how we perform your addition in 
big adnf microcontroller and why daw command is used right uh, so if you have any confusion please post in comment section thank you so much for listening